Hi Sagittarius and Arai here. Going to do a reading for you. This is going to be for Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and North Node. Please and thank you. Please know to take what fits and leave the rest as this is not a personal reading. Message and guidance for Sagittarius. Please and thank you. My favorite fire sign. message and guidance for Saggies. All right. Spirit, what do we have for Sagittarius, please and thank you. Message and guidance for Sagittarius. Mm. Wow, this was one of the last cards for Leo. Nine of Wands. This has to do with you and how resilient you are. This is for some of you, spirit letting you know that if you're working on a dream or a goal and you're tired and so close to giving up, do not give up because you're so close to success. And you may have a need for boundaries. You may need to put up boundaries for someone. This is you persevering. This is you pushing through tough times. It just makes me think of somebody that has a car that they want so bad and overtime is being offered and they are like so exhausted. Okay, this may have to do with money because I have the five of pentacles or somebody feeling left out in the cold. Maybe you putting up boundaries makes somebody feel left out of the, in the cold. Or maybe what I'm talking about is you working because you feel like you're lacking in the money department and you're doing this in order to get what you need what your dream is your card the money the funds them coins okay have the king of cups this is somebody supportive this is somebody kind gentle Able to communicate, balanced emotionally, somebody devoted. I feel like for some of you, you're the king of cups and then for others of you, you have a king of cups in your energy. If, it, if it's not you. Oh my gosh, stop it. Queen of Cups. This is a couple. Trust your intuition. The Queen of Cups is somebody that's very intuitive. They both, they both listen to their intuition. Wow. You might be more going with the flow of things. But you're trusting your intuition because you have the answers. Holy moly. I dropped four cards. One moment. Okay. I have the marriage card or stability or a strong foundation, a reason to celebrate celebrate friends and family coming to celebrate something a new idea an epiphany some clarity the emperor stability in control a father figure you might be dealing with an older man someone at a distance a person that may travel to see you, you may travel to see this person. This is a completion, a closing us out of cycles, maybe ending patterns. Yes, ending patterns by walking away from people that have patterns that are not healthy for you.
Sagittarius spirit. Sagittarius. There might be some kind of fast communication coming in, some sort of rapid movement. So may, something may happen fast. You may see some sort of conflict or there may be some quick conflict that comes in. Like you may, there may be conflict coming that you don't even see. So brace yourself. Oh, look. I just felt like this conflict has to do with money. Or a gift. <gasps> Stop it. Look. Two of, uh, two of cups. The gift is from the universe. It is a connection. It's a love connection. I already felt that there was a love connection because I pulled the king of cups and the queen of cups together. But this is you and somebody having a mutual attraction. A union. A partnership. Teamwork makes the dream work. I sense envy. Mm. You're going to have to stand your ground. Stand in your truth and be honest with somebody. You may have to use very sharp words with someone. Um, this is also... Hmm. You might have to be strict. This could have to do with the connection, the relationship. Like, not just people outside of it, but the person in the relationship with you that you meet. Like, being honest and telling them, hey, these are the types of things that... I expect in a relationship with me, with, with Sagittarius. And these are the types of things that Sagittarius is not going to put up with in a relationship. It's you being able to make a head over heart decision too. Balancing, prioritizing, making a choice. One more card. This is about you taking action. Traveling. This has to do with your growth. I say travel because this person's like looking at the open seas. Looking um, out there waiting for their ships to come in. So let's pull oracle cards and see what we have for you. Flowers, be generous, success and emotional fulfillment are yours. Mm -hmm. Star, hard times are over. Look forward to an abundance of happiness, enthusiasm and positivity, Sagittarius. Okay, unity, a time of divine understanding, renewal, peace, and hope. You radiate and attract great love. One more. Yes, this one. Fire, as I was saying, fire. Let go of emotional upheaval and embrace the renewal of the present. That's what I have for you, Sagittarius. I love you guys. Please like, share, and subscribe. And until next time, bye.